Hi everyone, how are you? Hope you're doing really, really well. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't met, hi, you can call me Tanan, and this is my channel. And today I'm pretty excited and nervous at the same time, but usually I feel like that every month when I'm filming these videos. Because this video, as you can see in the title, is my Diaries of a Chopaholic in Recovery. I know the name can be a little bit dramatic, I don't know, I feel like there are people that has way more issues with the purchasing habits than I have, but that doesn't change that I don't always feel comfortable with the amount of things that I buy. I know that I don't have a big issue with this because, for example, I'm not in debt. I only, pur I only purchase things with money that I actually have um but yeah sometimes i look at the things that i have bought in a month and ask myself if all of that was necessary but at the same time i have issues controlling myself at purchasing i don't know it's mm, maybe it's an exaggeration but this is a youtube channel i just don't want anyone to get offended if they feel like I don't have really an issue and maybe I'm calling this a chopaholic and it's not really because I don't know, I don't want anyone to get offended. It's a complicated topic but I was trying to do a no buy and calling the videos the no buy update but what I was doing and what I have been doing is not even a no buy and I don't want anyone to come to my videos looking for inspiration for the no buy and i don't want someone to get into my video hoping for that and finding that i end up buying a lot and end up triggering someone to end up buying for that reason i decided to change the name and the diaries of a chapaholic in recovery it's kind of a funny name for me but yeah let me know what you think about that title but this has been a long introduction and let's start with this video so in these videos usually i have like different segments usually i have an introduction then i have like a whole part and then some like how do you call it final thoughts about the month so i don't know if i want to start with the thoughts or with the whole but you will have the timestamps for each part of this video down in the description box in case you don't want to see the whole or in case you don't care about what I think and you're here because you want to see what I got in the last month, I don't know. But everything will be down in the description box. I think for today I'll just let things flow because I feel like at the beginning of the month I was doing actually really okay. With my no buy, I was hoping to actually have a makeup no buy in July, but that didn't happen at the end and actually i'm thinking if i want to purchase a couple more things today before it's august because that's a crazy a crazy thing that i do with myself like i like to start the no buys at the beginning of the month like if i buy today that is the 31 of july i feel like i will be more likely to have success on a no buy in august but if I buy something in the 1st of August, like my mindset changes and it's more likely for me to fail in August. I don't know if I explain myself. So my thinking that I might end up buying something today, because lately I'm looking for the perfect nude for me. I feel like right now the only shades that I want to use on my lips are nudes and I don't have as many nudes or notes that I feel comfortable in, so I want to purchase some lipsticks, but at the same time I purchased lipsticks yesterday, so I'm not sure. But let's start with the whole part. Yeah, we'll do that. As I said, I thought that this month it was going to be a no buy in makeup, but at the beginning of the month, like on the 10th or maybe it was like the 20th, I purchased some nail polishes. And I didn't did great with that either because I'm trying to only buy cruelty free products and I end up buying nail polishes from OP or OPY. Um, and those are not cruelty free but has some shades that I really wanted. So I end up purchasing them. I sold my soul to the devil with this purchase. 
and I'm thinking of doing exactly the same thing today. I'm not good at this, as you can see. I don't think any of you was hoping for me to do great in this month, but let's start with those nail polishes then. I purchased, oh, I made a mess. I made a mess because first I purchased this mini collection from OPY that it has like the Scotland collection and I have a soft spot on my heart for Scotland because I studied there for a semester in 2019 before all the pandemic. So yeah, when I saw that they had a collection like Scotland theme, I just had to get it. It has like half the amount of product that a normal nail polish has, but it has some, it has four shades. I have the names over here, but since these nail polishes are so small, I have no idea which one is which. And they're pretty nice colors. I'm using the darker one, this one over here, but I need to paint my nails again. And I'm really happy with this purchase, but <laughs> recently I saw that they had like Nessie is playing hide and seek or something like that is called it was available and it's a beautiful blue and I want it so badly but at the same time I don't want to buy anymore and I don't want to keep buying things that are not cruelty free but it's Nessie well it's not Nessie but it's Nessie it has Nessie on the name and it's a beautiful color so I'm thinking maybe that I will end up buying that but I'm not sure yet and I'm not sure if I said it, but this one, like, it was like 70% off. And this was so freaking cheap. Here I have the Positive Vibes Only collection. And it has four full-size nail polishes in neon colors. And it cost me like $5 or something like that. It was super inexpensive and I really wanted some neon colors so here they are and i'm super happy with this purchase and then of course i'll end up buying even more nail polishes but these at least are from a cruelty free brand i have this mint from essence over here i really like these nail polishes and i have these other two from studio 64 both are like light blues but this one is kind of more minty and this one is, um, I don't know how to call this color, but you can see the difference of these two. This is way more blue and this is way more like minty. So that was the first purchase that I made at the beginning of the month or well, not the beginning. I already explained that. And I thought that was going to be everything that I purchased for this month. But before keep purchasing things i finally received the makeup uh, order that i made in colourpop in march i had to pay customs for that but finally i have it and there i receive three super chic uh how are you called super chic chicks no super chop chicks and i'm not sure how i feel about these ones like the colors were not what i was expecting at all so these are the three colors that I got over here. You cannot almost see it, but I have print up. Over here I have Cruel Intentions and this one is Between the Cheeks. And I don't know, I feel, I felt kind of disappointed with Cruel Intentions because in the website it looks way more like hot pink. And over here is like way more muted, but that's okay. I don't mind. I'm happy with some new blushes. Also in that order, I received the daily eye cream from Fort Ray Beauty. This is the first product that I have gotten from the Fort Ray Beauty brand. I got another blush and I have mixed feelings about this one. First, it's super cheer. I kind of like that, but doesn't have like a lasting powder. Powder? <laughs> doesn't last at all on my cheeks and the products kind of get separated and you cannot see it now because i take it a little while ago but you can see even some like green parts on the product and it's not pleasant to look at i'll take a picture to show you what i'm talking about 
but yeah i'm not impressed by this in when i saw it that it has like the green thing i thought it was up like it was uh, expired or something but it doesn't smell bad or anything in the same order i got a super cheap shadow that it came broken but that's okay i talked to the colourpop staff and they gave me a solution so i'm happy about that also finally i got the palette that's taupe and i'm super excited about this one because well i'm excited but i was even more excited when i bought it in march when I first got it, I didn't have a lot of cool tones in my collection, but since then, since March, I had gotten a couple more palettes and this color story is not as unique on my collection anymore, but I'm excited to use it. So that was the Colourpop order that I received. Again, I didn't buy that in july i bought that in march but i just received it now because i live in chile and it takes a long time for products to get here at that point i was happy with my no buy and i ended up buying two um skincare products i got the overnight exfoliating treatment from good molecules and the hyaluronic acid serum also from uh, good molecules this is kind of a new brand here in my country and these are kind of replacements because a couple months ago i finished my hyaluronic acid serum that i had i got the one from the ordinary but here is way more hard it's harder to get the ordinary and lately getting good molecules is way easier and cheaper so for that reason i got this one i've been using it and i'm really happy about that and also, as I said, I got an exfoliating, a chemical exfoliating that I, that it has HA, AHA and BHA because, again, I had the one from The Ordinary, the one that is kind of red that looks like blood, but that one has a lot of concentration of those ingredients, those, I don't know how to call it so for that reason i decided to try to go with this one i've been using it for like a week or two weeks right now and i'm happy with it and by that point i was pretty okay with the no buy but then last <laughs> oh god i was really wanting some new bronzers and i had some like on site do you say that because tenía la mira we said in spanish but I went to a store to check if they have those colors, those products, and they didn't have them. I need to buy this online. But instead of going out of the store and not purchasing anything, I ended up purchasing two products that I really didn't need. First, I purchased this palette. This is the Illuminate Pink palette from e.l.f. And I bought it actually because it was like at a really good deal. I saw Rebecca Morgan recommending this palette a couple months ago because she got it like from a gift from purchase or something like that and she was really impressed by this palette and she was really enjoying it so I saw it on stock and at a really good price so I ended up purchasing it. I have used it like twice and I'm not impressed. So yeah, is this a regret? Maybe. And also I got this highlighter. This is Supreme Rose Beam from Catrice, the More Than Glow highlighter. Because I got the shade uh, 010, that's like platinum glaze or something like that. And this product was out of stock everywhere and I found it one. This one was the last one in store. So I purchased it. Did I need it? I don't think so, but I purchased it anyway. Actually, I'm not using highlighter today. I'm going to use this one. I think it's the first time I'm using this. Ooh, looks good. Okay, I'm happy. But yeah, this was the second thing that I got that I really didn't need, but I got it anyway. But then I, the next day, I needed to go back to the store because the nail polishes I bought online and I needed to pick them up in store. And next day they told me that I needed to go, so I went, 
retire those things and end up buying two other products from e.l.f. that were on sale. But this has a good reason. These are the, I don't know how are they called, but this one are like holographic uh, highlighters. And for a couple of months, I've been wanting to get the Alchemist palette from Kat Von Lee or KVD Vegan Beauty or however it's called now, but those were kind of expensive. And these ones were cheap, like seven dollars each or something like that when usually they're like fifteen dollars so i got them i haven't used them a lot not super blindly on it or anything but i'm okay with that i'm happy with these uh, highlighters even if i didn't need them and i think at that point i knew that <laughs> the no buy was mm, not working at all this month uh, so I wasn't surprised when <sighs> the same store where I got the e.l.f. products and the nail polishes got a sale for the lipstick day or whatever it's called and I started looking in the website because there were the sale and I wanted like 12 new lipsticks because I was looking for the perfect nude. But then I went to the store and I noticed that some of these lipsticks were cheaper on store than on the website and I just got them. Now let me tell you, I regret some of those, but I'll show you. I got four lipsticks from Catrice, two of them from the Plumping Gel Lipstick Power and the other one, how are you called, Full Satin Nude Lipsticks. I got two shades in the Plumping lipstick or whatever i got the shade 030 and 130 and i'm happy with this i don't regret these ones and this is the one 130 this is more mauvey are really pretty but with the nude ones like from this line i don't know i got the shade 010 and the shade 020 because I saw a lot of YouTubers recommending this, but oh my god, this is way too light for me. This is one is 020, it's a little bit more, it's a little bit darker and a little bit more brownish. But yeah, I bought four lipsticks yesterday and I want to buy like six more no kidding i'm a mess right now inside out do you know what song i'm singing and lastly i feel like i have a lot of things but each month is a little bit less than the month before i got a bronzer because i was crazy and needed a new bronzer and instead of buying two that were really really expensive i ended up buying only one for like two dollars or two and a half dollars this is a brand from here from my country from Patricio and this was a like collaboration with Wonder Woman I'm not a big fan of Wonder Woman but I have heard that this bronzer is pretty so I got it and you can see it over here I think it's going to be a good shade okay and this video is already too long way too long and I still need to share my thoughts with you my cat is doing something crazy right now. What do you want me to tell you? This no buy is just not successful at all. Like this is not working. And I'm not sure if I care that it's not working. Like I'm okay with the thing. Ooh, un gato quiere pelear con mi gato. Sorry, a cat was trying to start a fight with my cat. And I don't want that. But what I was saying, I'm not sure what I want right now. Like, as I'm just tell you, I want to buy even more lipsticks. I don't feel the need right now of having a really a no buy. Like, I'm okay. Like, I'm looking at the things that I got and definitely are some things that I just didn't need. But I'm kind of okay with this. I'm not sure. I, I have mixed feelings. And I don't feel like I have lost control this month. Not yet. 
I was hoping to get like a no by month and only purchase nail polishes and skincare. Those were the only things that I bought in the first three weeks of the month, but then I failed. I'm hoping that maybe in August I will be able to behave. <laughs> but just because next month I will definitely have less money that I have had in the last couple of months. Oh, but I don't know. Sorry, I'm distracted because my cat is looking to the other cat and the cat is just laying there looking at my cat. Maybe he wants to be friend with my cat. So what do you think? How was your month? Are you trying a no buy or a low buy? And how are you doing? What are your feelings with no buys? Do you like them? Do you feel like you need them? Sometimes mm, I feel like I don't need it, but I have to. So I think that's the reason why I have so mixed feelings. At some point, way i don't feel like i need a no buy okay i'm getting a lot of makeup but i don't have any other responsibilities right now only my cat that i'm watching right now so she doesn't start a fight with another cat mm. there is a part of the beauty community that contributes to overconsumption and that content is full of holes that you need to buy something and this is what you need in your life and I don't like that and there are the other part of the makeup community that is completely the opposite like you need to purchase less only get what you need don't over consumption and that is cool too but I feel like I'm in the middle like I'm buying stuff maybe you think it's way too much and maybe it is, but I don't know, because I feel like I'm okay. But it's really easy to think that I'm okay if I'm comfortable with what I'm doing, with what I am doing. So maybe I'm not noticing that I actually need the no buy, because I feel like I don't need it. But when I watch my collection and the other people that is doing no buys, in, in minimalistic videos I feel like I have to sometimes I look at my stuff and it's like yeah you need to stop but sometimes I say like this is not a big issue and that is part of the reason why I call these videos like diaries of a chopaholic in recovery because maybe on those times that I feel like I don't need this it's just because it's my comfort zone and I'm okay spending way more money than I should. I don't know. I have a lot to think about. And this was definitely a long video. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> but yeah, that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please consider subscribing. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!